never seen a flippin' survivor be like that. Uh, dude, those twin. You know, we've got quite a few trainers up ahead. We have like a whole gaggle. I guess I can ask them all and see if they want to battle. You know what I should probably do? I should probably teach one of my Pokemon Cut. I'm gonna have to go through all of like my list. In fact, I'll do that right here in this like little cubby before I talk to these guys. So, who can learn Cut? And can I just take away any of the moves? Absol is the only one that can no cut. Okay. Let's see. Cut is a 50 power, 95 accuracy. Slash is a 70 power, 100% accuracy. It has a high critical hit ratio. I get 10 more power points out of cut, but I lose 20 I lose 20% power. And I also lose the high critical. Actually, is Absol holding anything? Uh, actually, hold on a second. I think I've got freaking. I think I've got an item that I could just give to Absol, and it would just help anyway. Let's see. Uh, Quick Claw. No, that ain't it. Uh, it's supposed to uh hold item to, that raises the special defense of a clamp roll. That's pretty freaking specific. Um. That was the money. No, I'm not, I don't really care about the money. Uh, I, I should have something in here that... Uh, well then. Alright, well, I'm gonna talk to this... Talk to these Pokemon. Or, I'm sorry, talk to these people. What the hell am I saying? It's 4.30. I'm just gonna blame it on that. How about you, sir? Do you want to battle? Yay. You know, there's probably some trainers who'd want to, who'd be willing to battle again on the ship. Maybe I should go check it out. But they're only going to have water Pokemon, so. I think I'm just going to have to grind through the Victory Road at this point. You know, if I had Vile Plume, this would be a whole lot easier. Like, I'm now realizing that Ninetales may have not have been the best Pokemon to have, like... Ninetales would have been pretty cool to have on Sinnoh, because a chunk of that, uh, a chunk of the Sinnoh map is up in snow, and there's like snow and grass Pokemon up there, and they're actually pretty decent leveled. So that, that wouldn't be too bad. That snow town is one of like, one of like the last towns you can, you uh, reach too, because I think, I think something blocks that way off of Mount Coronet. Ah, how are you? Yeah, in a bit, lad. Actually, you know what? Let me just take him out. Let me see if this let me see if this Oddish levels up my my kipper. Don't you leech seed me, because I'll be pissed. You son of a bitch. Ow. It's alright, it's okay. I'm already paralyzed you guns. I'm only gonna get like three hundred. But I want to see. All right, I got it. Cool. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, wipe my eye a little bit. Hello. I'm going to a contest at Lily Cove. Don't watch it. I'm not proud of sweeping master class. Maybe. You want battle? Uh, how about you? You want battle? All right, cool. Defeat ten trainers a day. Guess what? You're number ten. <laughs> Guess what? You're gonna lose. I like Cold Trainer, Cold Trainer, Kristen. Louder. Nice boost in your ego, mate. Drew, drew, drew. Vigorath. Wow. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a while. I never understood... I never understood the, uh... The Slackoff evolutions. So it starts off lazy and, like, slow. 
and it like often ignores its trainer, and then it evolves into this freaking high stamina, high energy, freaking ape shit monkey, and then it evolves into a freaking like lazier version of the first level, and I'm just sitting here like, I I just never understood that. Like you would think it wouldn't go back to being like as lazy if not worse than its first evolution like maybe it would tone down its speed but you'd think it would like it would still be kind of a formidable like a formidable like third party evolution and it's not it's i mean it's a powerful pokemon like uh what's his name slacking slacking is a powerful pokemon don't get me wrong but like i don't i don't think uh I don't know, I just think there's like too many cons. The cons outweigh the pros with that, that one. I think if I evolved my Slackoth into Vigorath, I think I would just give it an Enderstone and uh, call it a day. Uh, my PC, because I think I have items in here. What's my item storage look like? Uh, withdraw, what do we got? Oh, uh, wow, we have lots of things in here. Okay. Uh, potion, Master Ball, Water Stone, Soothe Bell, Sunstone, Waxes, Cleanses, Tag, Matra Brace, Arch Growth, but reduces speed, Everstone, Moonstone, Thunderstone. I don't have. Doesn't appear I have the. Uh, doesn't appear I have the item that does the high critical hit thing. What is that? It's the, uh, it's like a type of claw, isn't it? Isn't it the Razor Claw? Might be the Razor Claw. I mean, I could teach Absol Cut, but, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I lose, I mean, I don't use the Slash all that often, but that critical hit bit is pretty, you know, it does come in. This might be something to think about next session. Maybe not so much right now. The only reason why I'd want to teach Absol Cut is so that I could eventually do that at the Trick Master's house. Because I, I, the only reason why I haven't done that is because none of my Pokemon know Cut. And, uh, I mean, I guess I could always go back to the Move, the Move guy and be like, Hey, can you teach my Pokemon Slash again? But we're already kind of like halfway through this small session. I don't really... Oh gosh, I don't know. Do I want to go back to Victory Road? Or do I want to make my way to Malville? And then, uh... Uh, and then just do the Trick Master's house next time. Um... I may just go back to Malville, to be honest. Because at this rate, yeah, because I could just go back to Mount Pyre. And like, I don't know, we could fiddle around here. Maybe I'll go to Slateboard and check things out for a second. But uh, if I go all the way down here and then just spend like 20 minutes down here, then I'm going to have to spend like another 10 minutes getting all the way back over here. So I think I'm just going to go back to Mount Pyre. I'm, I'm just going to go back to Malvo. I know I wandered all this way for nothing, but I'm calling her an audible because I feel it's needed. So when a trainer calls me, does that mean like no matter what they tell me over the phone, is that like the... Uh, Is that like the, uh, like, the initiative that they want to battle again? Because what, what triggers that, I wonder? Because I have no idea. Yeah, see, I could get in there. You know what? I've, I'm feeling ballsy. I don't really, you know, it's not really, there's no real shame in doing this. So, I'm just going to get rid of Slash. I would like to keep Slash, but at the same time, if I really want Slash back, the only reason, the only way I'm not going to get Slash back is if I find that Razor Claw item that ups the critical hit percentage. And that's like, then I'll just keep Cut. But until then, Cut is going to be on Absol for now, because I'm going to want to screw around with it. Time to see what's back here. There are trainers back here. Interesting. Well, what's in this area? I found a rare candy. Neat. 
All right, looks like we're gonna be put into a double battle up there. I don't really want to do that, so we're gonna battle you first. Being a psychic is all about willpower. I've willed myself not to lose to anyone. It makes me strong. You know, I wonder if these people are, like, good leveled. Uh, well, they're decent. This should be okay. This should be interesting. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just do the trick house this session. That way, next session, we can focus more on, like, leveling up the Pokemon. And he's doing. Now, Soul Rock is just rock, right? It's not a fire and rock? Oh, you know what it is? It's probably Psychic and Rock. I sense it, and you and I shall battle again. Hi, Cameron. Cool. Alright, double battle. Let's go. I lay in ambush, and the trainer has landed in my trap. I just bought this parasol. My cuteness should be up by a third. What's this little boy doing over here with this lady? Just... And he's spying on her, probably. He was hiding behind the tree. I don't think she would have ever saw that. Cast form? What an odd Pokemon to have. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and use Surf, because why the hell not? Then, uh, I don't know what I want Mightyena to do. Mightyena could do... Mightyena could do... Uh, let's just do Strength on Coffin. Oh, you're just gonna kill him. Wow. Alright, then that works, I guess. And there goes Castform. See ya. If you don't lose, how am I supposed to have fun playing ninja? You're better than me by about five times. Oh, good on you, mate. That girl is- oh wait, is there anything right there? I found a PowerPoint thingy. Neat. Also, I do realize that with me giving Absol the ability to cut, it's probably a good idea because now we can just- now we can find items that I've been stubborn about just not getting in general, so... What's this all the way up here? Why is it raining over here? I think I came through here last time and it wasn't raining all that much. I've never been up here, so I wonder what's up here. Super Repel. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so what is up here? Oh my bloody hell, what in the hell do we have here, mate? It's a Mariana. Run. Alright, I don't know if there's anything up here, so I'm just gonna quick check. I didn't see anything. There's a lady down here I would like to battle. Or not. Hi, Poochiana. It is raining. <clears throat> yes, it is. Apparently, I've already battled her. What? Crazy. Wow, that is how you say very crazy. Look at that. Wow. Like, wow. Hello there, buddy. Can I battle you? Uh, no, apparently not. What the freaking hell? Why, why is there, like, nobody up here, like, willing to battle me? Get out of here, Shepard. Oi then, mate, come on. I feel like I've been playing Pokemon Emerald for like half a year. 
I definitely started this back in June for sure. I wonder if there's anything up there. I think there's something up here. Uh, that is a negatory good, buddy. It is raining up here. I don't think I've ever seen it rain at the very, very person's house or uh, whatever. 